I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Jackson State President Thomas Hudson has been fired. Has been fired. Now, this firing, to me, vindicates Coach Prime, who said that there was some shenanigans going on. Remember, I posted that video uh, here. Check it out. Saying that JSU was lying about ticket sales, right? Uh, the Senate, the faculty Senate, came out in a scathing takedown in which they gave a vote of no confidence in january now we're in march early march and guess what the president has been fired let's quickly listen to a report um, from the news station that details the senate hearing in which they came down with the condemnation of the president well turmoil today at jackson state university the faculty senate levies complaints about president thomas hudson faculty body cast a no confidence vote against Hudson and university leadership. Here's Rosalind Anderson with more. JSU's faculty senate vote is the result of actions they say have caused serious damage to the campus community's trust in the administration. Huddled conversations on JSU's campus Friday may have centered on discord between the faculty and the president and his administration. Thursday, the faculty Senate cast a no confidence vote against President Thomas Hudson. They say university leaders' actions have caused serious damage to the campus community's trust in the administration's commitment to shared governance. The faculty Senate reported that the gross majority of the voting members agreed with the entirety of the no confidence proclamation. Complaints include Hudson not regularly meeting with the faculty Senate and routinely ignoring or dismissing their concerns. They also claim the entire physical plant is not being properly maintained. President Hudson responded saying, I look forward to working with the entire body of the faculty Senate to address any concerns. Shared governance, academic prominence, and student success are common goals that we mutually agree are essential to the growth of our institution. He also said there have been many milestones during his... Yo, that is damning, right? What do we talk about? Facility maintenance. We're talking about lack of transparency. All of these are big deals on a college campus, full stop. Big deal on college campus, full stop. And for the faculty to come out like this, it says a lot. It, it actually says a whole lot. So let's read the some specific words from uh, Don Bishop McLean, president of the Senate. She said this. The university leaders, including Hudson, including Hudson, have exhibited a continuous pattern of failing to respect shared govern governance. I'm going to say that again. Continuous pattern of failing to respect shared governance. Transparency, accountability, and have worked outside of professional norms that have broad implications for the campus climate, the reputation of Jackson State, and the university's commitment to both providing a high-quality education and to carrying out our mission of a commitment to excellence. Yo, <laughs> these aren't light words and these aren't things that should be taken lightly, nor do I take them lightly. Now, is this a product of what happened with Ed Reed at BCU? You know, there's a big uh, controversy around the lack of shared governance, not only at Bethune-Cookman, but also of all HBCUs in terms of where's the money going? What is really happening on campus? Why are is tuition so high? How do we combat all these things? Because HBCUs, without a doubt, have an important role to play going forward in terms of educating uh, black students and also the role that HBCUs have played in the history of America itself. And this is a big deal, and these things matter. My question to you is, does this vindicate Coach Prime moving forward, and will this really help HBCUs in terms of transparency. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the flip. Yeah.